Welcome back to Factorial with me, JT. See, I got it pronounced right this time. Okay, so a bit's passed. Um, I, I, I built lots. Um, we're still missing some steel smelters, but that's the only thing missing. And I forgot to put down something for stone. So I put down two more at the top, two more smelter runs for stone. Um, so we need smelters, and we're going to cap that to just one. Because I think we're done. At the same time, um, you can see green science is a little bit lacklustre. And that's an iron problem. And the iron problem is caused by these extra assemblers I threw in. Um, well, partially caused by all these extra assemblers I threw in to make more red belt. Because we just was not making enough red belt. Um, here, we put that one red belt in there. There we go. Alright. So, we need to go put down some more smelters this episode. Um, along with actually start getting this new bus system up and running. Uh, yeah, there's a, there's a little bit to do this episode. Uh, at the same time, something else we're, we're going to do is we're going to speed up the time it takes to run from A to B. Because I've done a lot of running back and forth. And if I can make it faster, I want to. Uh, so yeah, there was lots of smelters we put down. And I am willing to bet... Even when all said and done, I've missed some parts. But I'm sure either I'll notice it or you guys will point it out to me and say, Hey, JD, you, you missed a, a thingy midjiggy bob there. Um, oh, we've also got our scrap chests. Because obviously there was a few trees to chop down and a few rocks to pick up. And I ran out of grenades for multiple runs. So I used the good old fashioned pickaxe. Uh, and yes, I know I'm building on top of ore, and I know normally that's a sacrilege, but, you know. Um, oh, there we go. One research done. Okay, mining productivity is a research we're going to do, and we're going to get ticked off as fast as we can. Basically, you get plus two productivity bonus out of each mining drill, which, uh, 2%. It's not a lot. I, I, I fully admit, it, it, it's bugger all early game. But if any of you guys watch my Gigabase series, and look, if you've got time and you really ever want to learn how to build, build big, and look at the complications that come with building a massive base, watch that series. It's, 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 it's on the channel. There's a full playlist. It's 160 episodes, so it could be busy for a while. But um, in that one, we got money productivity up to... I first stopped at 450 mining productivity, which was 900%. So when a mining drill dug up one or it actually dumped 10 on the on the belt or in the box in that case, because I was um, bot harvesting in that stage, which makes a massive difference. In the end, I think we got up to mining productivity 750, which also meant, oh, stupid windows. Um, also meant that, you know, a, 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 a patch that says 1 million is actually 10 million ore. Or in my case, the ones that said 100 million were actually 1 billion ore. So it really adds up over time. Um, it is expensive. But the earlier you get it, the quicker it pays for itself. Um, and frankly, yeah, it, it's one of those researches you really want to spend time and resources investing in. Uh, down to the next row. I might actually have enough of these on me. That'd be nice. Woohoo! How many have I got spare? I haven't seen them. 18! That's well done. Good on you, JD. You, you got some numbers right. Okay. Um, so that's done. Alright, we're going to deal with our excess box of stuff. Um, which is here. Okay, I'm going to put the wood back in. I'm going to pick up the stone first. Stone is actually the easiest thing to d deal with. Um, it stacks in 50. Landfill uses 20 stone and stacks in 100. Oh, look, all the stone gone for a couple of pieces of landfill. 
Wood, on the other hand, needs to go be manually dumped back into our wood burning system, um, which is still all the way over here. Uh, green science is doing a little bit better. Oh, that's a long way to go. That's a long way to go. All right. Uh, um, we're gonna put. I'm gonna put a wooden box here, and I'm gonna put in my stone furnaces because we will want them. I'm gonna put in the excess burner inserters because, believe it or not, they're actually gonna be useful later on. Uh, that's about all I can clear clear out of my inventory. Oh, wooden power poles. That was the other thing. Because um, we're done with wooden power poles. And we're lucky enough that they actually have a fuel value. So they burn. So I'll pop them in there and they'll get fed, fed into our, our, our burning system. Um, I know this is probably doing somebody's head in, but you know. It doesn't bother me, so I'm going to leave it there. Um, another mining productivity. Okay. Um... These furnaces we don't need. We can put it in a red square and inserter. So the the box is capped. Okay, the inserter can only use uncapped. Or the inserter can only insert into uncapped squares. But we can manually add stuff to any one of these red squares because we're not an inserter. We, we have right of way. Uh, I just realised that's in my inventory, which shouldn't be there. Fixed. I don't even know how I got one of them. I don't even know why I've got the research unlocked. That That's something that I still haven't worked out yet. Um, okay, there's lots of things I'd like to clear out, like this this ammo, the extra pistol from my death, the iron axe, um, but one problem at a time. Okay, we're going to put these inserters in here, and we've got so many of them, we're just going to dump some straight into green science. We have... What else do we have left over? We've got grenades. Do not dump them in a machine manually. It's pretty much... You know, by left-clicking on them, it's pretty much a guaranteed way to have your face blown off and the machine blown up. Uh, ammo can go in here. I saw gun turrets in one of these. You can have 50 gun turrets. Um, of course, those machines will just use them as they get a chance. All right. Um... Iron's backed up again, so that means green and red science are running flat out. We've got a stack of belts, probably not enough. Uh, and I'm still handcrafting those. Hmm. We need to fix that. Uh, green circuits, green circuits. Okay. Now, we'll, 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 we'll fix that. No, we're going to fix it now. We're going to fix it now. Uh, I'm going to dodge you up another build. So you make... Uh, which needs belt. And you need gears. Okay. So we're going to have... You make gears. We're going to have... You make belt. We're going to have... You make... Splitters. We're going to have you make red splitters, and we're going to have you make gears. Now, this is far from ideal, but it'll get us out of trouble. And now I need some of those green inserters back. You've got 25. Good. Uh, so, into you, into you, into you, into you. Hello. All right. Um, we'll do concrete. Concrete seems nice and easy. Uh, any you, any you, any you, any you, any you. Uh, power pole there. So you have everything you need except green circuits, and you have everything you need except green circuits and yellow inserters. Alright. We're just going to trim these off, which is not the proper way to do anything, but you know, we're still in that early starter base sort of era where we can get away with stuff. Uh, we're going to bring those two there. We're going to put one of those there, one of those there, a belt there, 
and then we're going to put an output here, which we shall cap to two stacks. All right, they're automated, which is going to give us more of an iron problem. But you know, we've we've got plenty of iron problems already. What's another one? And whilst I'm here, upgrade you guys. Uh, oh, that's one other thing we needed. We're going to need mining drills, and we're going to need a lot of them. Um, we need iron plate and gears. All right. Well, there's a gear machine. Uh. Because that iron gear machine is not running flat out. Um, we might have a green circuit problem. Uh, okay, concrete's done. Alright, we're going to double this build. Nope, we're not going to double this build. Uh, I need more of those guys uh... no you are getting copper fast enough you're not getting cable fast enough okay so we also have an inserter problem iron plate problem. Welcome to Factorio. Alright. Upgrade. Upgrade, upgrade. Upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. Upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. Upgrade, upgrade. That's a bit better. Now, because we've upgraded the output, we need to uh, upgrade the input. We need to upgrade the output. Done. Mm, not one belt short. Have a bit of red belt. Uh, have a little bit of red belt going the right direction. Okay. Input, input, input. Output, output. Output, output. Uh, output, output. That's probably overkill, but you know. Always better have too many. Uh, sure. Uh, too many inserters rather than not enough. And done. Okay. Ah, oh, iron. That would be important. Okay, now I'm not going to cap this in the slightest because every single minor drill you ever make, you will end up using sooner or later. Alright. Uh, oh, and that was the other thing we were going to do. Uh, another wooden chest right here, and we're going to get just a tiny bit of stone. Like, my whole inventory full. Perfect! Because stone has this wonderful quality. Uh, it can be used to mine any... It can be used to be mine any kind of path. That, that doesn't really help. But, it does say walking speed of 130%. So, aka, it makes us go faster. Um, I'm going to hit the numpad plus button to make it 6x6. Six six. No, 8x8. Eight eight. Oh, God, that's getting big. Uh, let's go with 6x6. Six six. And I'm going to not click in a straight line and hold right click to remove your path. No, I did it again. I can't walk in a straight line. I did, Dev, Dev, this is my, if, if you watch this series, this is my one request. Can we hold like some button to make sure we walk in a dead straight line? That would be a really nice addition. Um, and as you can see, I automatically walk just a little bit faster. Uh, yeah, to speed things up, we're going to put down some belt. And because I'm horrible at walking in a straight line, we're going to put some more belt. Uh, which is actually how I got a lot of resources out there. I built some janky belts and ran them all the way out there within, uh, and just dumped what I wanted into a mixed belt. 
which fed at this distance to me, so I had not quite as far to run. Uh, and then we're going to put down a belt at this end. You might ask, JD, what the hell are you doing? Um, I'm building a path. I'm building a path JD style. So, I have path here, which makes me go fast. Great. Um, but, I want to go faster. Um, as we all know, standing on a belt makes you go faster. Uh, a belt on concrete makes you go even faster. And I can prove that by... We'll just do that for a bit. So, um, normal run speed, belt run speed, slows down slightly, goes back up again. Uh, we'll do that again. Belt run speed, and we just get just, just that little bit of a speed slow down when you're running off, off belts that also have stone or concrete underneath them. Because concrete, which we've now researched, makes us, gives an extra 10% running speed on top of what we've already got. So, uh, I need one of them. No, and I want to need one of them. So, next job is to actually start firing up all these smelters. Um, which first entails just a tiny bit of coal to get all these furnaces up and running. Of course, I've run out already. Can I craft any? I can craft nine. Uh, that'll help. Uh, 50. Yeah. Oh, I'm probably going to need more more red belts. You now I just used a heat. And that's full, I bet. Yep. Uh, a lot of these are full already. Hmm. Alright, let's put gonna put down another box. Cap that. Done. Uh belt. That'll do us. Because of course we, we, we want to fire up the system as fast as possible. Uh run out to my belt. Uh it's daylight again so we can see what we're doing. So, same story with every other mining patch, just running straight up, straight down. We'll put down our miners, dead straight lines. Not balancing them, not worrying about maxing out a belt, anything like that. We, we're just going to get them down. Um, because the fundamentals of Factorio is you have... You have basically three resources that are limited. You have UPS, which is this number up here, which is how fast you can run the game at. That is a limited resource. Um, it is the most important resource in the game. Um, if you build a wildly massive base that's horribly inefficient, uh, you, you, you're going to end up running at like quarter game speed. And I've done that. I've done that many, many times. Um, because I just have the, 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 the urge to build big massive bases. And um, I've been reasonably happy running at quarter speed. Um... The second most important uh, resource, um, and some would, some would argue it's probably the most important, but I don't, uh, is your time. I could count out exactly how many mining drills I need to fill a red belt. And I could make a nice squiggly line, because I, I think it's 50. 49, so I could put all those on one red belt, in theory, and then do the same on the other side. Yeah, and have two red belts of output, but my time's important. Um, so I'm not going to do anything silly like that. I'm going to run the belts, get the whole lot run up, you know, up and running as fast as possible, um, and just accept that, you know, it's maybe not perfectly efficient, um, I could maybe squeeze something else out of it um, in the way of, I don't know, it's not really performance, it's it's optimization. I could make it more optimized. Um, and technically, there's the, you know, 
when you're building a Giga base, you do do a certain amount of that. You will build something that takes more time um, because it's more optimized for UPS rather than for, you know, your time. Um, but also by then, a lot of times you've got robots and they're the ones actually doing all the hard work. Um, so, i got four belts coming out. Now, of course, this belt's got le yeah, this belt's got less on it. This belt's got slightly more on it. Uh, this belt then, and then this belt's got the most on it. And I don't want to end up destroying the miners and them mining out in the wrong order. And me having to go fix things manually and having one belt that's almost drained and one belt that's full. So... What we're going to do is we're going to put in what's called a balancer. Um, and I'm going to pop it down. Oh, is that right? Yeah, I think that's right. Nope, it needs that one in there. So, the idea of this is... And we'll do it with grenades. Uh, and a box. And an inserter. And now what do I have? I've got five filter inserters. Uh, I now have four filter inserters. Okay, so we're going to bring the game speed all the way down. And we're going to put four inserters in there. So first one goes in. Uh, it passes straight through. Okay, it then gets moved over to this lane, passes straight through there and over to there. Second one's disappeared into the mayhem somewhere. No, it's come straight through as well. Ah, there's our second one on the second lane. Third, uh, third one's on the on the far left-hand lane. And the fourth one should come out here. See? Perfectly balanced. So, one lane input comes out on all four. Uh, we'll repeat the process with... What do I have more of? Oh, 40... Perfect. Uh, we're going to put in a faster inserter and we'll bump up the game speed slightly. And we should see all the stone come out perfectly over all four lanes. Now, yes, the system does have a fault. It's not uh, belt balanced, lane balanced, whatever you want to call it. Um, everything's gone in on the far left-hand side of this belt, and everything's come out on the far left-hand side of the, this belt. That's fine by me. Um, so this is our very first belt balancer. And the idea is I can take four inputs. One. Two. Three. Four. And down here... Every one of these belts, right, this belt will have a quarter of this lane, this lane, this lane, and this lane on it, so on and so forth. Um, so this is our four to four splitter. It is also technically, and this is the most important factor, it's also a four to one splitter or a one to four splitter. It's any combination of up to four to any combination of up to four. That's the important factor. Now, what I do is I put two more splitters on there. They don't actually serve any function whatsoever. But it's how I've been building it for a long time. It It's it's something I do as just like a quirk for me, I guess. Um, you probably join a multiplayer game. You'll probably see this in this combination, maybe with or without the end splitters. Um... It, it, it's something I've built for a very, very long time, and it's how I build it. Uh, might not be exactly perfect, but I'm happy with it. That's probably the bottom line. Uh, of course, it'll be one pound, one pole, not far enough. So we're going to feed coal into our system. At the same time, I'm going to actually upgrade a lot of these belts. I'm going to rotate that. No, I can't rotate that. You have to come to that side. Uh, and I actually want you to be a red splitter. And then I want you to come down to there. Oh, this is going to take so long to manually replace. No, nope, wrong button. 
Um, red belt there. Yellow belt through there. Oops, that direction. Uh, I've got gaps in here. I forgot about the gaps. Okay, we're going to do it that way. Uh, uh, belt in there. Uh, red belt again. Uh, oops, don't move me, belts. One, hotkey two, hotkey three. Uh, yeah, small little things like this can take ages to do. Uh, put that there. Put. Stop moving me belts. Rotate that one. You from there to there. Um, I really should have thought about this and looked at where my uh, coal source was to start with and made sure I was going from the right direction to start with. Because we want to fill the fill, we want to put a red belt in at the top. We want this to be a red belt all the way through. Because at the moment, like, we're splitting off half, 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 half. This down here is like a one-eighth of a belt or something. One-sixteenth of a belt. Um, it is getting less and less the more times we split it. Which is semi-fine. Um, because at the moment, all these smelting arrays are just... They're, they're backing up, basically. Uh, Alright, what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Find an empty blueprint. I don't need that, I think. And I'm going to blueprint that. Hopefully, this will let me speed things up. So now I know exactly what I'm deconstructing and exactly what I'm going to build. And actually, we're going to even speed up things further by going with a filter deconstructor no, with a splitter as well and then we're just going to select everything because it will only take those items out or only mark those items for deconstruction um, it still means I've still got to pick them all up manually but had we had robots they would be able to fix that for me and just know just to pick up these items which would save me heaps of time it's one of the reasons why a lot of people rush to get robots um, because they just they save so much time in this game uh, by doing simple repetitive tasks like this quickly and efficiently. But tutorial series, we're we're going a little bit slower. Uh, okay, where's that blueprint I made? Goes there. Uh, I want to put that on my bar. Because now I can just press Q on everything. No, you meant to go the other direction. Place that one down. Place that one down. Place that one down. Place that one down. That one, that one, that one, and that one. Okay. Oops. Come here, back here. Ah, this one's going to be a bit tricky because it's got to make a longer jump. Reverse that. Bring the belt down. 
And yes, because it's a blueprint, I can just press Q on everything now, which is probably what you guys can hear. Uh, me just tapping away at the Q button over every single square. Oops. Uh, I want yellow belt that way. You come down another row. Uh, okay, done. Now, as you can see, the coal line is getting reversing belts. Um, the coal line is getting slower and slower and less and less on it the further it comes down. And that is because each one of these furnaces is slowly buffering up with however much coal they need. Five. Um, yeah, we're pretty good to here and then things just powder off to, to not a lot. Um, but as they back up, which they will do... Uh, As this one backs up, more coal will get forced down this line, which will then get forced in the next one, and the next one, the next one. Now, in theory, one coal line should feed this whole assembly. Um, I hope. I hope. Um, but yeah, all right. We're going to leave this here for this episode. I'm going to, between episodes, take these three remaining coal belts and drag them down, because we still have... 10? 10 steel furnaces we need to feed um, from three belts which is going to be interesting for maths no hang on one two three four we have eight to feed from three belts um, so yeah that's going to be an interesting maths problem which we will do in the next episode as always thank you guys for watching um, i hope you guys are learning something uh, i will see you guys in the next episode if you've got any questions about belt balances um, and why we use them and why we don't use them, um, by all means, look in the comments. Uh, ask in the comments. Uh, lastly, hopefully, somewhere during this episode, I would have put up a card um, with a whole separate video detailing more information about belt, belt balances. Go back. Have a look. Um, go back to where that card was. Have a look at that video. It might explain a lot of the questions for you. Um, but yeah, belt balance is something where I'm going to cover in the next episode as well. Probably about in, in as much depth as I did this one. Um, along with, as I said, there's, there's a whole separate video dedicated to them. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. As always, hope you're enjoying the series. And I'll see you in the next one. Alright, bye!